Galatians chapter 1, Paul, an apostle, not sent from men, nor the agency of man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised from the dead, and all the brethren who are with me to the churches of Galatia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us out of this present evil age. According to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory forevermore. Amen. I am amazed that you are so quickly deserting him who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel, which is really not another. Only there are some who are disturbing you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even though we, our angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel contrary to that we have preached to you, let it be accursed. As we have said before, so I say again now, if any man is preaching to you a gospel contrary to that which you receive, let him be accursed. For am I now seeking the favor of men or of God? Or am I striving to please men? If I were still trying to please men, I would not be a bondservant of Christ Jesus. For I would have you know, brethren, that the gospel which was preached by me was not according to man. For I neither received it from man, nor was I taught it. But I received it through revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former manner of life in Judaism, how I used to persecute the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism among many of my contemporaries, among my countrymen, being more extremely zealous for my ancestral traditions. But when he who had set me apart, even my mother's womb, and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the Gentiles, I did not immediately consult with flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me. But I went away to Arabia and returned once more to Damascus. Then, three years later, I went up to Jerusalem to become acquainted with Cephas and stayed with him 15 days. But I did not see any other of the apostles except James, the Lord's brother. Now, in what I am writing to you, I assure you before God that I am not lying. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea which were in Christ. Only they kept hearing, he who once persecuted us is now preaching the faith which he once tried to destroy. And they were glorifying God because of me. 